Today we're going to be talking about a new character that's going to be introduced in Young Justice Season 3. And her name is Tracy13. And she's actually part of a long line of something called Homo Magi, which are people who were born with powerful connections to magic. Her father is actually very skeptical of magic, and he even blames his daughter for the death of her mother. After her mom died, she moved to suicide slums in Metropolis because she wanted to prove that she could live on her own. And while living in suicide slums, she actually learned to use urban magic, which is the ability to tap into the magical force of the city that you're in. While she lived in suicide slums, she had a pretty cool hero life. She ran into Superboy during his early years and was constantly hit on by him. She also helped save Superman from a ghost ninja. And she formed a friendship with Sir L and Natasha Iron. These are two heroes who were going by the name Supergirl at the time. Eventually, she ended up teaming up with Blue Beetle, and after a little time together, they started dating. The funny thing about this was that Blue Beetle hadn't actually messed with magic before, so when certain events took place that had magical origins, it was Tracy that had to figure out how to save the day. Because of this, Jaime usually felt a little useless, but eventually got over it when they joined the Titans. Tracy also helped repair the Rock of Eternity after it exploded all over Gotham City. The Rock of Eternity is the home of Captain Marvel, now going by Shazam, even though nobody's seen Shazam since the events of the Dark Side War. Usually, if there's a major magical event, you can expect to see Tracy 13 trying to help out. Tracy didn't really start to shine until she joined the Teen Titans, where she learned to grow and master her powers. Being on the Teen Titans gave her an opportunity to grow as a hero, and having awesome fighters to practice with, like Spoiler, was a pretty great perk. What really shocked Tracy was that the power that different cities had. When she was trying to save Blue Beetle, she tapped into the power of a new city, and it just completely terrified her because it was magic that she was not ready to use, and she kind of didn't want to use it again. After the events of Flashpoint, Tracy shows up in the Superwoman DC Rebirth series. She tries to get Superwoman to help her save Metropolis because of an attack of Ultra Woman Bizarro clones. She manages to harness the power of the city to stop the army. And then after that, she joins the team of super people, and... She hasn't really been seen much since then. Even though she never appeared in the first two seasons of Young Justice like some of the other new characters have, she did make a cameo in Teen Titans' Judas Contract, where her and Blue Beetle start to grow close and possibly end up dating. It's kind of confusing because he gets kidnapped by Slade Wilson. If they go with her pre-Flashpoint character, it's possible that she may be Blue Beetle's new love interest in Young Justice Season 3. But let me know what you guys think about Tracy 13. Do you guys think that she's going to be a good addition to the team? Do you think she's probably the best magic user they could have gotten to be on the team personally i would have loved to see mary marvel join the team but there's actually a funny story about why she isn't in young justice let me know what you guys think about it in the comments thank you guys for watching if you like this video and you want to see more young justice 3 stuff hit the subscribe button because we're going to be talking about the other characters like spoiler more stuff about static bart allen and of course arrowette people need to know and i will talk about it i'll see you guys in the next video goodbye